Hey, guys, what's up, Mike Wienerbach here. Great news. Shortest day of the year. Now it gets better. That's it. That's the suckiest day. It's raining, it's dark, it's short. From here on, sunshine. By the way, in a not too distant time, my home country, a certain group of people tried to make this the official Christmas, but that's neither here nor there. So, we're doing the derriere, hamstrings and glutes, okay? Hamstrings, the hamstring curl is often not done so well. So often you see something like this, okay? First things first, hips down, pull the toes in. This lengthens the hamstring. Then elevate the shoulder blades, drive, get a good squeeze, give it like three seconds on the way down. Second set, I would do some sort of an adduction. I mean, not all the way out, needless to say, but this is also a function of the hamstring, okay? So I'll be going out, holding the outward intention, go out, and the toes stay obviously <coughs> pulled toward me. And then on the last set, I would, you know, have my training partner or so either directly stop me on the top and give me some resistance or I just mimic it myself. So I'd be going over here, squeeze and lower slowly. And from there on, I'll be going on a stretch exercise, which could be the good morning. I prefer banded deadlifts, so normally there would be huge weights on this, right? Got that, like enormous weights, but this being a demo tape. So the banded deadlift is called banded because you have a band. So be walking back here. I curl my toes up, come down primarily pushing my glutes back so I wouldn't be worried about plunging I'd be just going down in the sense that I go backwards my glutes um, you could also put small plates under your toes to like increase the stretch and elevation then I would be merging in I was saying I have to invest another 18 bucks in a new mic. Tough call here, tough call. So the single leg deadlift is a great sort of like prep exercise in the sense that both feet will up be like this and I be driving downward, almost like trying to chafe the leg press. Okay. Um, we talked about this, but for the millionth time, active range of motion is what I can do okay now watch this the machine can do this but I'm not working anymore this is just me being in overstretched position so here my hamstrings are maximally and glutes elongated and then I drive forward okay I also don't lock out because now my knee takes the brunt whereas here my muscles take the brunt and since I am not a joint builder but a body builder and then my big set would be this one I really really like uh, if your gym doesn't have a trap bar change gyms seriously <laughs> just change you know so the trap bar allows you to really engage the glutes um, and you can do a cluster set meaning you can go not to lock out. So let's say five reps. Normally I'd be using like, I don't know, 350-ish, give or take. Rest it, take 10 seconds or so, do another five. And get to 15 reps that way. So. Yes, I could do this with the squat, but the racking, unracking would kill several reps, right? Now, the gym doesn't have this, the hack squat machine or the squat machine would work. Just not as well. So that would be like the main dish, so to speak. <clears throat> Thank you.
and then in terms of like metabolic fatigue I'd be doing a lunch drop set where I would be using the cable so this way I don't have to worry about balance and I can just work my muscles by the way do not ever do walking lunges with a barbell it's stupid too much energy spent balancing too little energy spent lunging so in this one I'll be going like somewhere the sif lunges first where I elevate the front foot then depending on how adventurous I feel I'll be stepping back lunges for another five then I would do a lunge where I lean slightly in the line of pull <coughs> it works more on the glute then finish up with a lunge where I finish straight up more on the quad so to reiterate sif lunge stepping back lunge leaning forward lunge and then straight up so that would be the glute hamstring setup now as I mentioned last time arms being my weak point legs being my stronger point now the hook is too small who put this here my god some people basic physics stupid um, I would do some arm work in order in the faint hope to catch up at some point so for lack of better words this is a tricep spreader bar it allows you to push all the way by the body because the tricep contracts here so with a straight bar not optimal then I would be working the strength curve get another five here and then five here for the biceps I would do something on the lines of a mechanical drop set so I would start out with a Zatman curl so that'd be the first five then scoot forward incline curls pushing back regular curls and then hammer curls so there was background noise so to reiterate I'll do it one more time I shall even roll up my sleeves for that so sitting upright Zotman curl please note the thumb being over then incline curls sort of pushing back regular curls please note you curl till here not till here this is a front raise this is a curl and then hammer curls so and then in one fell swoop you build your butt and your guns mike out merry christmas <laughs>